Get ready for two of the best 145 pounders in the state of Tennessee. They'll be fighting at a catch weight of 150 pounds. Here's Adam Denton from Memphis, Tennessee, fighting for Dave Ferguson at Memphis BJJ. 5-0-1 is his record. I'll tell you what, Adam Denton, great fighter. Awesome stand-up. This guy can get in there and throw. You kind of look at him, and at the weigh-ins, he does not look like a fighter. He doesn't talk trash. He doesn't do anything. He just stands there and kind of with a little smirk on his face, he's absolutely zoned in. He's got great Muay Thai and stand-up. He's going to bring it all the way on this one, Greg. Unbeaten at 145, unbeaten at 155. Been training Muay Thai at Memphis BJJ under Jason McDonald for four years. Trains jiu-jitsu under one of the best in the biz, BJJ Black Belt Joel Gingery at Memphis BJJ. As you mentioned, quiet, reserved, will fight anybody. He is trained with Tyler Hill, Tony Way, Brian Hall. This guy is prepared for this battle. And as I mentioned, two of the best 145 pounders in the state. The winner of this fight should be the number one contender in the featherweight division. So there you see our own Crystal Morrow greasing up Adam Denton as he will make his way inside the cage. 23 years of age, but it takes two to tango, Rick, somebody once said. <laughs> and in a moment, you'll meet Brandon, son of Flash Pemberton, the pride of Nashville, will have a nice home crowd advantage fighting for pound for pound. He is a perfect 7-0, 7-0. So you have a combined 12-0-1 record for these two Warriors. Adam Denton going to take a little seat for a second. He says, the heck with running around. I'm going to reserve my energy for the battle. Very calm fighter. And now we get to meet a terrific Muay Thai fighter who, like his, like his opponent, Adam Denton, probably wants to keep the fight standing. His last win was against V3's Nick Davis, and we know how good Nick Davis is. Get ready for Brandon Pemberton from Nashville, Tennessee. I'll tell you what, Brandon has great stand-up. Absolute monster in Muay Thai. This guy, his instructor, Bernard Robertson, one of the best in the business. He could absolutely bring it. He does not want to get this to the ground. He absolutely put a beating down on Nick Davis. Sorry, Nick. I love you, but he did. So this is one of those fights. Brandon's going to come in here and try to throw as many kicks and punches as he can. You mentioned his Muay Thai coach, top-level pro instructor Bernard Robinson. Jiu-Jitsu, he gets that from BJJ Black Belt Brandon Bolton. Very similar personality and style to Adam Denton. Absolutely. These two are almost mirror images of each other. Very quiet, reserved. They'd rather do the talking in the cage than outside the cage. Both have great stand-up. Let's take a look at the tale of the tape brought to you by Budweiser. Adam Denton from Memphis, Tennessee at 23 years of age, 5-0-1. He's 5'9", Muay Thai fighter, and 23. So really the only difference when we look at Pemberton, the five years as far as age is concerned, but that shouldn't make him too much or be too much of a factor. He's 150 pounds as well, 5 foot 10, so just a one inch height advantage and a freestyle fighter, Brandon Pemberton and Adam Denton. So as Pemberton gets ready to make his way into the cage, and he does, what do you expect, Rick McCracken? We're going to look for a good stand-up battle. If uh, Adam gets hit or rock, he's going to look to get this to the ground where he thinks he's at an edge, and you're going to look for uh, Brandon try to keep it standing and you know look for the KO. Let's get the introduction with our own Michael Kelly. B3 Legion, this bout is brought to you by Budweiser. And it's set for three. Three minute rounds in the 150 pound catch weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He wears the black trunks with the red trim. At five feet nine inches, he weighed in at 150 pounds. A Muay Thai fighter with an impressive MMA record. Five wins, no losses, and just one draw. Representing Memphis BJJ and fighting out of Memphis, Tennessee, Adam Denton! 
And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. He wears the black trunks with the red trim. At five feet, 10 inches, he weighed in once again at 150 pounds. A Muay Thai fighter with a perfect MMA record of seven wins and no losses. Representing pound for pound and fighting out of Nashville, Tennessee, Brandon, son of Flash Pemberton. Thank you very much, Michael Kelly. Jason Wilkerson is our referee, the third man in the cage, and he'll bring the two fighters to the center of the right, octagon. Do you have any questions? Do you have any questions? All right, hook them up. Let's see this. Short and sweet for Denton and Pemberton. Again, they mirror each other. We'll see if they keep it standing. Very skilled fighters, and again, two of the best 145-pounders in the state, the battle of Memphis versus Nashville. Round one, here we go. In the catchweight 150 pound fight between Denton and Pemberton. Denton say we're gonna, for a second. Yeah, I say we're gonna look out for a little uh, kind of feeling out process, but I'll tell you what, Pemberton came right in. Well, forget about standing up. Denton wants it on the ground and he was able to get <laughs> Pemberton down. Denton took that leg, that kick to the midsection, that leg kick, and he wanted to get in on the ground. Again, you have two fighters that are skilled in all disciplines, so. They want to sit and pound each other. I mean, stand and pound, or they want to go down to the ground and show their jujitsu skills. Well, they'll do that as well. Oh, great combos by Adam. You can tell his skill. And the oh, big take oh. takedown on the head of Pemberton. He came down sideways on his noggin. He's a little stunned right now. He's a lot hurt. Oh, what a kick by Denton. Whoa. Very impressed with Adam Denton Another right now. Another big takedown, and Pemberton in a load of trouble here in the first round. Adam Denton is absolutely relentless. A huge takedown. The punches, the grounded pound, the stand up, the head kick right into another monster takedown. That looked like that was scripted, Greg. Wow, Denton showing it all. Maybe it was. He and his head coach, Dave Ferguson, getting a game plan together. It's come out, uh, and he's the aggressor, no doubt about it, Pemberton. Little shell shocked here in the first round. I think when Pem Pemberton got dumped on his head, it kind of took a little out of him. Then he took that head kick right on the face. He came down sideways on his head that first, just not very awkward. And then there was the second takedown, as you said, the big kick to his face. And a big round so far for Adam Denton, but still plenty of time. And now some ground and pound from Denton as he got the right arm loose. Not counting Pemberton out at all, but Denton has a great position on him right now with over a minute left. Fully mounted, grounded pound, left hand, right hand. Pemberton's trying to hold him off. A lot of these punches are missing, but there are some that are connecting. That one got through. As Denton you, just having his way, Rick. Yeah, as you can see, Adam stays absolutely aggressive, and he's always pushing the pace and doing something. Under a minute now to go in the first round. Referee Jason Wilkerson is on top of it, watching the action obviously very closely. Pemberton has taken a pounding, but he seems okay. Absolutely great. Oh, nice kick. Great move by Pemberton. Tried to get Denton away from him. Just get off me, fly. <laughs> it is impossible to get Denton away from you. Brandon has tried pushing away, kicking. You know, he hasn't taken a serious amount of damage, but just enough. Well, you said relentless, and he is relentless, but the damage was earlier in the round. But we approach 10 seconds to go here in the first round. Pemberton's trying to get Pemberton a nice had a little, finisher. Yeah, yeah. Had a little guillotine on him, but Denton jumped right over and got right out of trouble. Good action in the first round, and a big round for Denton. Round two coming up. You're watching V3 Fights. They want a piece of each other. Oh! We hope you're ready, folks. This is a war. What action? What action? Oh, he set it up. He's done. It is over. Knockout. Oh, I don't think he's getting out of this. It's deep. It's deep. He got it. He's got it. Oh, my Lord. Oh, no, this is one bloody war. Fight of the night written all over it. Oh, that is it. Welcome back. Denton pulled out everything, but hello, ladies. Denton put, pulled out everything but the <laughs> kitchen sink in that oh. first round, and Pemberton survived, but barely. We'll see what Bem Pemberton has for Denton here in round two, and here we go. 
Denton was absolutely electrifying in that first round, but don't ever count Brandon Pemberton out. He has great striking ability, and he's going to try to hit Denton and hurt him. Denton slipped again in that same spot. He slipped to open the fight. Oh, oh wild man. right now. Oh. oh, Adam got clocked right there. Yeah, he got caught by the left from Pemberton after a wild right by Denton was off the mark. Again, he misses with the left. Nice kick by Pemberton. Brandon Pemberton sets up his strikes great. See, he, he uses a feint and comes in and just looking for an opening every time. Seems to has, have his composure back somewhat after a big first round for Denton. Great inside leg kick yeah. by Brandon. Looked to almost sweep him. Oh, good defense there by Denton covering up. Oh, Denton, nice, nice right. left by Denton. He had a right and then came back with the left and connected on both. Good combination. That one's off the mark. So this is more what I expected to see from this fight. But Denton had different plans in that first round. Oh, another right. <laughs> oh, another combination there. Nice three-punch combo from Brandon Pemberton. Again, you see the great defense by both these fighters as Denton was able to, to block that kick that came up toward his head. Wonder if Denton's trying to catch his win here in the second round and just he may be, go but toe to toe. What I'm looking at is Pemberton has a reach advantage even though he's only one inch taller. Right. Definitely longer limbs. Oh, big combination once again. Oh my God, he set that one, two, three up perfectly. Closing in on a minute to go in the, in the second round and a good round for Pemberton, nice kick. Ooh, that had some snap behind it and that hit all the way. Oh, he caught Denton's kick attempt here. Ooh. Adam coming in with some shots but he took a couple going out. Well, how about Pemberton with his Hands down that low. You don't like that, Rick. Well, you know, he what he's doing, he's baiting him. He oh, thinks he's got well, enough he, speed to get out of the way. Well, he didn't get out of the way of that <laughs> one. I think uh, Adam is, is not winning this round. This is definitely a Brandon Pemberton round so far. He's landed more devastating strikes. He's landed more strikes to all areas of body. It's almost like Denton looks winded and maybe is just kind of – Waiting to pounce oh. in, the, in the third round. I don't know, but here he goes. Takes he, took down. That kick. he took that kick going into that takedown, which it hurt him a little, but he still got the takedown. Seconds to go in the second round. It's been a good round for Brandon Pemberton after a great first round for Adam Denton. Not much is going to happen here, and we are going to go into a third round, and that one came right after the horn and good sportsmanship between the two. We'll take a break, come back with a third and decisive round. You're watching V3 Fights. Third and final round in this catchweight 150-pound battle between Adam Denton and Brandon Pemberton, two of the best 145-pounders in the state. Denton had the huge first round. Pemberton had a good second round as most of that round they stood on their feet and Pemberton was able to get some terrific combination punches in there. And we'll see as round three, here we go. We'll see if Denton was trying to get his win back in that second round and maybe he'll come out like he did in the first. Well, that second round looked like he expended way too much energy and tried to finish the fight in the first round, which could be a bad thing for a fighter. And right into the side of the cage near us go the two, but still on their feet. Yeah, those two monster takedowns he had in the first round, they'll wipe you out. I think it's safe to say, though, this nice knee from Pemberton. This fight is still very much in the balance and a tough one, I would imagine, to judge. Absolutely. Those knees, they take some toll. Adam with a good takedown. Oh, kind of sloppy. Yeah, Pemberton able to get out of it pretty easily. As I was saying, those knees take a toll. You get hit right in the stomach or the solar plexus, you can't breathe. Pemberton has definitely snapped off some big kicks. Ooh. Adam keeps switching up his stance. He's going southpaw and then back to right hand. I think Adam is in trouble here. He's too tired. I think I think Brandon's about to unload on him. Oh, he caught the kick. He got he partially blocked that kick, but he caught a couple of Rights. That's what Pemberton was doing in that second round. Again, another leg kick. 
Dead maybe one last chance here. He tried for the takedown, but Pemberton stands him up, not letting him go down. I'll tell you what, Adam Denton looks absolutely exhausted here. He's trying for another takedown, and he wants to definitely work his jiu-jitsu. He definitely has an advantage on the ground, but as you can tell, Brandon Pemberton has the advantage standing up. Again, Denton is fighting, fighting, and fighting to get Pemberton down on the ground, who's not allowing him to do so. But now they're back somewhat on the ground. They're finally on the ground. Now it's Denton up. Denton could be in some trouble right here. We got a minute to go in the third round. Well, he's looking for that takedown. He's going to try to suck him in and pull those legs under him. But he's going to have to do something very impressive for the judges to score a win in this round. All right, what is he trying to do specifically? Oh, he's he's going to try to throw some ground and pound. I think Brandon has him pretty locked up. Brandon threw so many punches in the first minute, minute and a half of this first or this third round that I think he's he scored the win and, and Adam just looked dead, tired. We'll see if Wilkerson, uh, Jason Wilkerson, the referee, will stand him up here. Well, no. Denton was able to get his hand free, got a couple of punches in. Pemberton's really locking him up, doing a great job defensively. And he flips him over his head. Denton jumps back on. 13 seconds to go. Time just, winding down. I just don't think Adam Denton did enough in this third round to get the third round awarded to him. But if they look at the third round as a push, you go back to that first round, which was a real decisive round for Denton. Absolutely. It was more decisive than Pemberton's second round, although Pemberton dominated. This is a tough one to judge. We'll find out what they think when we return. Great action in our catchweight 150-pound battle between Denton and Pemberton. You're watching V3 Fights. They want a piece of each other. Oh! We hope you're ready, folks. This is a war. What action? What action? Oh, he set it up. He's done. It is over. Knockout. Oh, I don't think he's getting out of this. It's deep. It's deep. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, oh my lord. Oh, no, this is one bloody war. Fight of the night written all over it. Oh, that is it. Welcome back to Marathon Music Works. One fighter in just a moment is going to receive his first loss in his career. Adam Denton, 5-0-1. Brandon Pemberton, 7-0 going into this fight. Let's find out as we go to Michael Kelly. V3 Legion, let's hear it for both of these fighters. Here in the V3 cage at Marathon Music Works, after three rounds of action, we go to the judge's scorecard for the decision, declaring your winner by split decision, Adam Denton! So there you go. Adam Denton did enough in that first round, and I had a feeling that's the way the judges were going to go. I think Rick differed from me, and I think Brandon Pemberton is a little stunned. Adam Denton gets the victory. And now he joins our own Rick McCracken. Adam Denton, great first round. You absolutely dominated that first round. You had some monster slams. I think he definitely underestimated your wrestling ability and your jiu-jitsu. Yeah. What's going on, Cashville? It was a real good fight. It looks like you slipped on the mat here, kind of torched your knee a little bit in that second round. Did that have anything to do with kind of that slow coming out in there? It, it did, but... It had nothing to do with it. He's just a good opponent. Well, in that second round, you absorbed a lot of punishment, and you just kept coming back. Did you know his Muay Thai was that strong? Yes, I did. Well, you're a little tired again. I'd like to thank you. Great win tonight. Adam Denton, everybody. Thank you, Rick. That's an exhausted Adam Denton, but a winner. Nonetheless, he improves the 6-0-1. Right. We'll take a short time out, come back with more exciting action from Marathon Music Works in Nashville. You're watching V3 Fights.